Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie Ruth Designs. This is another week of the hashtag I've created, 2023 CW Collage. And the CW stands for Crossword Puzzle. I couldn't do CWP because that was like uh, Marguerite Miller's Collage Weekly Planner. And I tried all different collage or um, crossword puzzle hashtags and different hashtags were taken. So this is what I came up with. So if you'd like to participate in the crossword puzzle collage that I've started, this is the hashtag that you can use and you can use it either on YouTube or if you have an Instagram account, I've already started it on Instagram. So go ahead if you create a collage and use hashtag 2023 CW collage. And I'd love to see what everybody is doing out there. So this week, you can see I have my um, collage book. It's all ready and to go. Um, and if you're new to this, I have a Crossword Puzzle large print book. I purchased this years ago at Barnes & Noble. And um, I didn't use I used it for other things. And I figured it would be a fun thing to do to collage around a crossword puzzle. The left hand side I have put um, some digital paper on here just so I'll this is going to be end up being a nice book. You can see the prompts or the crossword um, clues are on the left hand side. I'm just covering them up and then this will be a nice book that I can journal in or do whatever I would like um, with this make it into like a gardening book. I could add pockets to the left-hand page over here and keep different items in there, which down the road, maybe I'll go back and we'll make some pockets. Um, so yeah, if you're, if you haven't started this, I'd love to have you join in. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. So um, I have this week, I have this image here. It's cut out of a magazine and I thought I would use this in my book. I'll just move this over to the side a little bit. And I thought I'd just do a little coloring. I have some colored pencils here and I thought I'd just have a little bit of fun and um, color some of these in. Some of these need sharpening. Um, and I'm not going to do too much. I just want to add a little bit of color here. And um, I just thought it would be a little, little fun here to add a little bit of other. I would have loved to use watercolors on these, but I wasn't sure if, um, if the watercolor would stick or not on here um, and it might make my page a little too soggy because this is just out of a magazine and I'm just gonna Just play a little bit here. Let's see. Go back up here with some pink. I'm going to have this mostly pink. You'll see why. I'm not very good at shading either. Some gals are really, really good at um, make all these here, these tips red. Um, some girls are really good at shading, and I'm not. I'm not. I don't understand a lot about light and. Um, Yeah, 
my mind just doesn't work that way where I can um, it's kind of sad because it's probably not that hard you know if your light is coming in your shadows and stuff but I've just never never got quite gotten it Never quite gotten it. Oh, let's see. What color didn't I? I'll go back over here and do... Mix it up a little bit. So I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm making this video. It's a Saturday. And I know I post these on Thursdays, but I had a little bit of time before dinner and some other things I was planning on doing. So I thought I would... I thought I would just make this really quick. And it was kind of a funny day here today. A um, lot of rain. Off and on, it would rain and then the sun would come out and it would rain again and the sun would come out again. Um, So, you know, I couldn't really do anything outside. I would think, oh, you know, my husband was out earlier in the morning. I was practicing my watercolor, the class that I'm taking. And he says, you're going to come out. And I said, yeah, I'll be out when I, when I get done, you know, with my painting, my watercolor painting. And then lo and behold, he's out there and he says, you better come out. It's really nice. I'm like, I will. I'll, I'll be out. And wouldn't you know, um, it's, it rained. It, by the time I, by the time I was all ready to go out there, it, it, it was a deluge of water. So that didn't work out real well for me. Um, so then it just got to be the time where I had to return. I didn't have to return, but I'd had a book from the library. And the little library that I, I go to, um, in town here, it's on the honor system. I think I told you about it one other time, but um you sign a book out there's no library card or anything like that sign a card you sign your book out you drop the the uh little ticket in a box and you take your book and you you know you can have it for as long as you want and um I thought, oh, this will be great. But I find that I've, I'm under pressure when I do that because I feel like I have, I'm have i forcing myself to read just to, you know, to get it done um, and get it back in a reasonable time. Usually if the book is really, really good, I have no problem you know, blazing through it, and I can't put it down. Well, this book, I I I, I kind of struggled. It was just a story. Um, it was a nice story, but there was no twists or turns in it, so I had a hard time picking it up and going back to it. 
and the last three or four books i i have them posted on my instagram um they're all just stories and i really like a book with twists and turns and an, oh my gosh i didn't see that coming um, i like a good murder mystery so we returned that book today and then of course i was tempted I was really tempted to uh, take out another book. I saw a series there, murder mystery series, and I just, I said I can't. I, I have so many books at home that I haven't read yet. Um, I have a whole series by Elizabeth George. And I have, I've got to start that. I read one of her books. Wasn't really sold on it. But I have the whole series. So I feel obligated to read them. So I said, well, I'll start again on her books and see where it takes me. So, all right. So I think that's good for, I don't think that looks too bad. Not too bad. So this will go on here. And you can see why I wanted to give it a little bit of color. Um, it just being black and white, it just didn't have that oomph to it. And then this is my gal here. This is my, my vintage gal. And I just think she's so sweet. Here she is in her apron. And then we have this here coming up like that. And then I found, and I'm trying to use, and I encourage you to use scraps and items that you just normally don't use. I have two cigar boxes here. I have this one here that is just full of all kinds of ephemera, little tiny things I've gotten from your creative studio and other and then I have this box just full of little items and I need to, I need to use these. So, and then I have a lot of these here that I've cut from magazines. I haven't done anything with, so I highly encourage you to use items like such as this. This was a piece that I, this was a large flower. I cut it down and it's been hanging around. So I really am trying to use some of these items up. Um, and that's the one thing with the, the crossword puzzle collages. I think it gives you a good opportunity to do that. The girls here are, you know, the girls, maybe a floral are the feature, um, in here. And then I'll come up with a little saying. Um, but I just encourage you to use your little items. And then I found, I have this here. I have that. I have two of these because I thought it would just add a little zippiness to my page, these little labels. And then I have this one here, which is an odds and ends. And then I found this little um, ditty here. And I thought I'd just try to incorporate all of these. And then on these here, I thought I would add a little saying. I have, again, um, the Happy Planner. This one here is Praise the Lord. And there's a lot of nice little sayings in here that again, I haven't really used. So this has some sayings and I thought um, I would add maybe a saying or two over here onto this pay, onto these little stickers. So again, it's just a nice way to use up um, your items and things that maybe you, you would like to get out, you haven't used. Um, instead of just having them sit around. So I think I'd like to put that over there. I like that little writing hand. Put that 
that there. I think that's good like that. So I'm going to get this half down here because I do like this. And I'm not going to ink anything up. Uh, that's the other. You know, I just kind of want to leave these natural. And I, again, I don't want these to be overly complicated. I just want it to be a nice, fun collage for everyone to to do. Um, and then I'm just going to get some of these glued down partially. And then I can go back and tweak them. All right. And then let's see. I want her to land right about here. So I'm going to just tack her down right here just a little bit to hold her. Okay. Hold her in place there. And here. That way I can play with this. I know I want this under here. Like that. So this I can do the whole thing. And I think these are nice collages as well. Um, because there are no there are no prompts. So that's the other thing that I like, you know, when I had this idea. I kind of like collaging without prompts. Um, because you can just add what you want to add. And like I said, if you have a scrap, you know, scraps or whatever, you can just use them up. And you don't have to worry about like a prompt, like, oh my goodness, I don't have that. Um, where am I going? You don't, you don't have to spend a lot of time looking for your items, your pieces that you want to collage with. So, I don't want to do that because that will cover up her pretty little, I think that'll be good. Just about right there. I'd love to be able to have this come over just for a little more dimension, but that's going to cover up her bow. And I don't really want that hanging across her face, so we'll keep it there like that. All right, so... We can, I think I can get the rest of her down. There. All right, and then these, um, let me see if I can find a little saying before we put them on. So these here, um, I'm going to put here, I'm going to put finding joy on this one. I'm going to put finding joy on that one right there. And then, let's see, is there another, is there a couple of different ones here? Or just the one. Um, let's see. I'm going to put grateful. This has a little bit. This one might fit. Let's, oh, that's a long, oh no, that's not long. Let's see if that will fit. I'll cut this one. I can cut this one down. This one says, God is my strength. 
So I will add that one. That'll be a nice little change up. This will be a nice little change up. Okay. There. Okay. So those are two nice little sayings that if you have, again, extra items hanging around, I just haven't used them. So let's see. I was thinking about putting this one maybe here like that. I like the red and I do want to offset. I want to put this one up around here. So I think that looks good. Um, so I know I definitely want to put this one up here. So let's see. I think this is a sticker. It feels like a sticker. So we'll just see. Yep, that's a sticker. So we will peel this one off. If I can get it. There we go. And I will add a little bit of glue just around the sides. Just so it doesn't come up. All right, I think I'm going to put this one right. I think right there will be good. I want a little bit of that black top to stick out. Now, if you didn't see the difference, we have this one here, where if I peel, you peel your back off, it does show a little bit of the crossword puzzle behind there. But that's okay. I don't mind that. This one here, I think maybe I might keep that plain. This I'm going to glue down. Right, probably where I want to write. So that didn't work out real well, did it? All right, we're going to put that right up there like that. Okay. And then I'd like to use this here. Now, I don't know if it's really going to go, but I thought this was really pretty. I thought maybe I could put tuck this up in this corner, but maybe I won't. It seems like kind of a lot. It feels like it's forced. So I think I'm going to keep this here like this. I'm not going to use, and I think because I peeled this one, I will peel the back of this one. And let this show through. If I can get it off. Oh my goodness gracious. I wish somebody when they when they do these stickers, I wish somebody would invent a little tiny tab at the end of them and you could just grab that tab all right so i'm going to put a little i'm going to put this down a little bit and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to glue this section down here okay okay All right, and then all I got to do is finish. And if you would like to participate, I don't want you to be intimidated if you don't, or discouraged if you don't have any of the vintage um, paper dolls. You could use Tim Holtz paper dolls. You could use animals. Use whatever you have and whatever you like If if you have a lot of dog images use your dog images if you are your cat lover use cats um if you just want to do flowers this you need to make these books yours i'm using the vintage um girls because i have an awful lot of them it's easier for me to do this to make a nice book instead of making a, a whole new junk journal using them um so that's why you see me using all of these vintage sewing gals um, because I have so many and I need to use them. And I just thought this would be a really nice way to do that and not have them sit around anymore. 
Um, I just don't want my items sitting around, and I feel like they were. So, okay, so here is my collage, and then all I have to do now is come up with my saying. And it did take me a little while to figure this out. Um, and the first thing I thought of when I saw her was pretty in pink. And I like the pinks and the reds that go together. So, um, and of course she has an apron on and I thought today for the cross, my crossword, um, saying puzzle saying would be, um, P -R -E -T -T -Y, um, pretty R E T T pretty. Okay. It's 43. Okay. Pretty in. 52A, the, and then 62A, K-I-T-C-H-E-N, kitchen, K-I-T-C-H-E-N. So mine is pretty in the kitchen. And I just thought that, yeah, she, she would be very pretty in the kitchen. She'd be even prettier in the kitchen if she was in my kitchen cooking my dinner for me every day. I would so appreciate that. Wouldn't you love to have a personal chef? So that is this week's, um, let me show you again, 2023 CW Collage. And that's how you should post yours. And um, yeah, I just find your old, find some stuff that you want to work with. Use your scraps, use all your little ditties to make a nice collage. You'll have a nice book in the end. So that's this week's collage, everyone. And I can't wait to see what you create. Use your hashtag. And um, I want to thank everybody for joining in. And I will see you next week. Have a great, have a great week, everyone.